Hey guys, I'm Sim and Toast Ken, and we're about to play more of The Walking Dead. Episode 3 finally came out on Steam. It's really late, but finally, finally it came out. And uh, a lot of you that have watched my other ones, some of you may or may not have a problem with some of the choices I make. I got really long explanations for all of them, but I could talk a whole video about all those. We're just going to get back to it and just... I make, I try to make what I think are logical choices and not based on, oh, I feel kind of bad for him. I guess I'll let him live so he can kill me later. But anyway, anyway, this is my story. And I hope you enjoy the choices I make in the long road ahead. Because I hear we got to make some tough ones, so we're going to make Previously the freaking on the one. Oh, you get to see everything I've done. Forget about this. Get the gates open. We've got wounded. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Ah, that's right. I know who you are. <laughs> you're and dead. I know you're a killer. Too bad. He's not dead! Somebody help me! No, he did. Come on! We know this guy's not going to make it. No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Oh, I took Don't it. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their This is not Clementine's mom. <laughs> Everybody that keeps saying that. Clementine is black. She's a little black girl. This has a picture of her family in the very first episode. It's a black family. That's why Lee passes off as her dad in the first episode if you choose to lie to certain people. And I, I actually do feel kind of bad about shooting her in the face. That's like the one that I kind of I wasn't too sure about, but I did anyway. Oh well. Clementine also saw us smash Larry's head in with a brick. So I think her seeing me kill the farm guys actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> Compared to what she has seen. I mean, what's the difference between cannibals and zombies? The cannibals make a choice to do it, and the zombies just do it out of, you know... Instinct. Mark's dead. She saw Mark die without his legs and almost ate some of him. Does it, those two guys that I killed aren't going to affect her any more than everything else has. I, I smashed her babysitter's face in with a hammer. But it was a zombie. That, she probably had been babysitting Clementine for Looks a like long time. Looks like this is our lucky day. Then she turned to a zombie and I just roll up and smash her face in. Uh, this might go smoothly. This might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Did it say how much time has passed? Last time it was like three months. I wasn't looking. I was too busy preaching. <laughs> Big savings. Oh, man. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? Oh, he got Lee, shot. That's where he got shot. The motel and by the dudes. The RV. He got yeah, shot in the side. We've been talking about it, but. You made up your mind yet? We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Dang, a helicopter. And it bent the propeller. Or maybe it's a plane. Eh, it's a helicopter. It's got the back. Okay, Little back one. just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh, you're so witty. Look at the barrel. Hmm. Nice barrel you got there. Push the Jeep over there. Mm. It's probably in park. It's probably, probably in park. Am I supposed to? I can look at all this stuff. Do I just? All right. Look at the winch. Looks like it still works. Well, that's good, I guess. Anyway, guys. Climb the ladder.
It's probably gonna fall off. Yeah. Looks like she's had it. <laughs> what now? I'll find another way up. Ah. I'm gonna move on. Well, this episode is starting out awesomely. Debris in the There's truck. No safe way through that mess. Oh well. Let me just walk around here. Look at rubble. Hmm. hmm. Rubble. Debris. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Is there something about a car? Oh, grocery hmm. cart. Hmm, what? Tires are flat. I didn't try pushing this. We'll try it again. It's got bricks inside of it. It's not going anywhere. Tire. It's completely flat. Yes, yes it is. With the back one. It's completely flat. Oh, okay. It's got a hand. Oh, I'm an idiot. God dang it. Grab the winch. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Well, he was... He... He'd already left me to die in the first episode. He made the choice that he was going to kill me, so I don't feel bad about him dying. It's kind of like... Kind of like the brothers. If the position was switched, and it was me... At the end of the pitchfork, they would have stabbed me right in the chest. So... Stab him back. Stab him first. Too bad. What must we be clicking on here? Anything? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Let's use that. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him. Sean dying and all. I'm just yeah. worried he'll always think it was his fault. Well. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, shit. Thanks, Kenny. God dang it. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. And it begins. Help me! Wait, wait, wait. Where'd you come from? Somebody help me! And oh God. Oh God. How long have you been here? What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. She's screaming and... I can't help her. Matter. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. Well, I can't help her. There's too many. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. I don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. That's cold, but I agree with him. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Is she like some crackhead or something? No! 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 She survived this long. Let's go. I'm not even going to try to explain this, why I did this. Sorry, lady. It's all about us. Even if we did save you, you wouldn't be able to help us any. 
The only way you can't help us is in death. Don't worry. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. <laughs> still screaming. Oh my gosh. I guess it's trying to make me feel bad about it. I don't. I don't. I don't. She ran out screaming. She's been alive this long. She knows how that works. So, what a... I'm sorry for it, lady. I'm sorry. She's gone. There's not much time now. So I guess if I shot her, I would have less time to grab items. Hmm. Seems... Yep, there's my timer. Sorry, lady, that I left you to die like that. Hang on. But... Okay, did I get everything? No. Nope. All right, that time. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Go oh, snap! Oop, Q. Kenny, where you at? Where you at, buddy? Am I dead? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. E. Fridge. Fridge. Got him. Okay. I'm ready. Whoop, here we go. Oh, hello. Ah. Punch him in the face. Shoot him with the gun. Shoot him. Oh, my gosh. You an idiot. Thought I... Thought I taught you better than that. Don't tell me to go shoot him now. Okay, good. Let's go, pal. How do you feel about that? What I just did. Left that poor lady behind. To give us more time. To get supplies. She was not going to make it. And she was probably crazy, and I don't know where she had been that whole time living by herself. She just came out of nowhere. Yeah. She was much more useful in death. Poor Clementine. I messed up and didn't feed her in the last one. I meant to. I didn't understand. And I put him on my walkie. Yay! Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Like I said at the top, that I only had enough to feed so many people, but I thought I had enough to feed ten. It said you have enough to feed ten hungry people, but it wasn't. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. Oh, is that what the zombies are going to do? <laughs> oh, well, there are the bandits. So, what did you get? Uh, there's a lot, lot of stuff. stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Is piling into an RV with you two after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. It's suicide out here. here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me either. We're strongest together. I hate her so it can't much. Can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. 
How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. It's true. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You yes. weren't out there. It's survival, Did lady. Save her? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, oh, she mad about it. Its people aren't savable. Whatever. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. Well, Kenny, I agree with you, but there's walkers everywhere. It doesn't matter where we go, honestly. But we got. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing, and I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now, everybody, get out. <sighs> She'll, get She'll get over it. She's riling she everybody up, otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing none of this is getting any easier. It's not going to get any easier anywhere. We just got the bandits to deal with here, but I guess we'll have bandits to deal with anywhere we go. Oh, things are coming to a head. <sighs> but staying here Let's isn't see. the best idea, I don't think. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Mm -hmm. What's up, girl? Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Mm -hmm. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. She's already paranoid. She's been paranoid. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. All right, we can talk. Now, Lily, I killed your dad because he was a jerk, and you're a paranoid jerk that wants to run the show but doesn't want to trust anybody. Hmm. Well, Kenny is. I don't know about Kenny either. I agree with a lot of the stuff he says, but he's. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about these people. But anyway, I guess good time to stop recording i've been going for a while longer than i expected to so anyway thanks for watching and uh stay toasty my friends